Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. I wanted to share with you today a dream that, that uh, Jesus gave me and I kind of dive right into it. He gave me some scriptures to go with it. In case you're wondering what my shirt says, it says, Stand for the flag, kneel for the cross. I love it. It's a fashion statement. Uh, I just love this shirt. So anyhow, I love the cross. So anyhow, here's the dream. I was standing before Jesus and he spoke to me. And he said, he was reforming my mind. This is for the church, though, really. This is not just for me, but it's for the church. But he was reforming my mind to be conformed into his image and transformed by the renewing of my mind through the washing of the water of the word and the blood of the lamb. And he gave me these scriptures. Romans 8, 29, but I'm going to read 8, 28, too. I'm going to read these scriptures to you, and it'll make it it'll make ton of sins and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God to those who are called according to his purpose for whom he foreknew he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be firstborn among many brethren predestined us to be conformed into his image who else do we want to be like you know, this was a message I heard in the 80s about being like Jesus, full of Jesus. People see us and see Jesus. You know, at first they used to think, well, that was kind of weird and sacrilegious or whatever, you know. It just took me a while to kind of wrap my head around that message. But who are we supposed to be like? We're adopted in. We're children of the King. We're God's sons and daughters. So anyhow, conformed into his image. That's the first one. Second one, <clears throat> transformed. Romans 12 and 2. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may be proved what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. It's time for that city that's set upon a hill. We stood up for what we truly believe in as Christians. We stood up for the gospel of Jesus Christ, which is the dispensation of time we live in. You're going to kind of hear me hit that theme all the time. Because that's the hour we're living in. It's all about Jesus and his glory. And God, of course, absolutely. But the hour we're living in is about being like Jesus, becoming sons and daughters of God. That was his salvation plan to change mankind. That's the hour we're living in. So, being transformed by the renewing of our mind, not being conformed to this world. <clears throat> I'll just hit this one little note. Turn on the news. I mean, I turn it off, on and off, all the time now. I used to turn it on and watch it. Now I just kind of hit, hit it every once in a while. But it's just... A lot of trash. Pop up on my internet all these articles. A lot of trash. Do I want to fill my mind with all that garbage? Not really. So I want to be transformed by the renewing of the washing of the water of the word and the blood of the lamb. And here's the last one. Ephesians 5.26. It's talking about husbands and wives, but it's really talking about the bride too. For the church. Us being the bride of Christ. Ephesians 5.26 
that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing by the word. Look at some of my other videos. Look at some of my other various different videos. Sorry about that. Look at some of my other various videos. Who's your source? Uh, you know, it's all about Jesus. That's a dispensation of time we live in. If you like this video, put a like on my channel. Share it with others. Co co comment on it. Um, most, this is a dream that I had. Mostly the Lord's been dealing with me in visions. So he inspired me to write a book, which I did. They're all awesome tools to get you closer to God. Because that's the main theme that I'm going to hit. Your relationship with Jesus Christ. Who's your source? Get it from God. Get it from Jesus. Get it from the Holy Spirit. Get it from the Word. Ask God. Don't listen to me, man or me or anything I'm even saying. Get it, you know, bounced off the Word. So anyhow, that's kind of the direction that I'm going. Um, if you want a copy of the free book, just email me at steveyoungstrom at yahoo.com. No strings attached. I'm not going to keep your email address. I'll delete it. I'm just going to send you a book, not asking for an offering, nothing. Nothing in return. I'm not going to send you a bunch of junk, crap email. Because I hate that too. So, no strings attached. Just email me, steveyoungstrom at yahoo.com. I'll send you a copy of the free book. Awesome. Very inspirational. Spent almost a year researching the visions and putting scriptures with it to back up what I'm saying. So, anyhow. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. Have a great, awesome, wonderful day. Uh, talk to you soon. Like I said, please share this video with others. Uh, let me know what you think. Good, bad. Take any, you know, comments, criticism, whatever. Doesn't matter. Just let, let me hear from you. God bless you. Talk to you soon.